Angela sing. What exactly happened here? Well, at 1.30 this morning, I get up to the songs of crackling noise. And when I opened my bedroom door, I saw fire in my joining room. After that, I started to shout to wake up my son, fire, fire. And then I ran to the second bedroom to wake up my next son. But he wasn't getting up. So I keep on knocking, knocking, knocking. I went and I opened the back door and I tried running back and the kitchen catch a fire also. So I didn't have a chance to run into the house because the fire was so strong. Then I ran outside and when I came here I saw my son, my last son and my granddaughter outside. And then I saw my, sec my big son handing my son the child. Mm -hmm. And how then my son jumped out. Five of us. Five. My two sons, myself, and my two grandchildren. Okay. Yeah. And after that, well, everybody come out safely. But mm -hmm. my son, he get burned from his neck, go down straight down to his waist. And my grandson, he two hands burned up. So right now they are in the hospital. In a stable condition now? Well, my grandson. My son, he... He kind of critical. Yeah, he critical. Side. Yeah. Hmm. You have any idea as to what may have caused the fire? I have no idea because everybody was so asleep. So, yeah, so we cannot say what caused the fire or anything like that. Nobody knows. So everybody was sleeping. And you see, when you came out, you also looked like if I was at the kitchen? No, it was in the joint room. The joint room? Yeah, it didn't start in the joint room. It was flaming up already in the joint room. Okay. But when I opened the back door and ran back, it started to come in the kitchen because that the gas tank and all those things there. Did the fire officers tell you what may have caused it? No, but I didn't get a chance to talk to the us yet. Okay. Yeah, they say I have to come in and they will come and investigate more and, and see what's going on. How much would you estimate your losses to be? Hmm. They tell me it was a good size, about three bedrooms. It's say? three bedrooms, a drawing room, kitchen, a, a, a small little storeroom, mm -hmm. toilet and bath, okay. with a big shed in front and a shed to the back. Right. Uh, well, the house had everything, stove, fridge, um, three, four beds, two wardrobes, two dresser, TV, two couch set, dining table, a fully furnished house. Okay, yeah, I didn't really, I also lost $15,000 in cash that I hmm. had saving up. Okay. All my jewelry, all my personal belongings, everything just gone. No. No return. I'm just trying to thank God for life right now that my children and I am safe. Mm. And just anybody who wants to assist to help. Yeah, anybody who wants to help to assist in helping me and my family build back our home are really, really, really appreciated because we have nothing. No clothes. We, are, we don't have anything. We just out right now and the sun we everything burned to the ground we cannot salvage anything from this and it's a very sad sad situation but i thank god for life and my children and my grandchildren life it's a sad situation i i i just trying to be strong right now for my yeah, children yeah. because i am the backbone of my family i am the backbone of my family so i am trying to be strong for my family Right. Uh, I see in your hand. Have yeah, that's where I get uh, burned there. Side. Yeah, I got burned there, trying to run back to see what I could savage. wake up my son. No, no not a savage. It was to wake up my son and him. But in knowing that he was already outside. Sorry. The small one, he was already outside mm -hmm. with my granddaughter. So when I run to the back and come to the side here, mm -hmm. and reach to the shed there, then I realized, well, he was uh, outside, uh, outside and then the bedroom catch a fire to the front bedroom catch a fire so mm -hmm. that's how my son ended up getting well yeah some burn. bad burns. yeah <laughs> yeah so yeah. thank god it's still alive yes yeah thank, thank god, god that it's still alive it yeah. was rebel once it's alive yeah <laughs> so as i say for the public i will me and my family will appreciate any assistance that we can get because we don't have mm -hmm. anything right now Nothing at all.
Why did children lose their school? Yeah, well, everything on school books, school, books, yeah, school clothes, wise, uh, IDs, food, uh, paper, the full works. Uh. I don't have, I don't have nothing. We don't nothing have nothing. We just had to start off from scratch. You know? Right now we live in a loss. Yeah. They have no identification right now. Yes, lost. We lost. We lost. This is the most hardest thing I ever had to deal with in my life. Hmm. <laughs>